What? What the fuck, dude? <laughs> what? Yo, welcome back to a new video. Holy fucking shit, boys. The spoilers, leaks, and previews are now out for Black Clover's next upcoming chapter 297, and they are fucking legendary. <laughs> guys, guys, from the recording of this video, it is currently 6 a.m. I cannot speak loud, but I, I am screaming. I am freaking the fuck out. My prediction came true. Let's fucking go. Oh my god. Holy shit, there is so much to fucking talk about in this chapter. First of all, volume 29 cover is being revealed. It features Libby on the front, the twin devils, Morgan and Noct and Lysida. No Asta, fuck that midget. No Asta in this volume cover. It looks beautiful, it looks black, it's red, it's purple, it's green. It's fucking amazing. It features Libby on the clover signal. It looks amazing. I hope to God this volume sells very, very well in Japan. My fingers are crossed. With that being said, the title of the chapter is Advent, most likely referring to Advent of Cliff Off or Advent signaling something fucking major is about to fucking happen. And holy shit, there's something major happen. With that said, the color page this chapter is Noel in her saint spirit dive, her sword in the sky shining like a Valkyr. Unfortunately, her wings are green. Her halo is green. I, I don't, I don't know how I feel about that. Her sword is blue and green. What? I, what the? I'm, I'm assuming Saint Spirit Dive is is similar to Spirit Dive. So all Spirit Dives are apparently going to be green. If blue, water turns green and then wind is green, I'm assuming Spirit Dive for fire and earth are also going to be green. But nonetheless, Noel looks fucking majestic. Her is shining <laughs> sorry sorry no we don't simp for noel anyway the chapter actually starts seconds where last week's chapter ended there was a sword straight through vonica instead of taking this as a fatal fucking blow vonica is just laughing she is screaming just gallons of blood gushing out of vonica noel's dress sea dragon roar is gigantic oh my god noel's power level this arc has literally skyrocketed the fight continues vonica just erupts in blood magic the blood magic curse magic going everywhere it looks like her blood and curse magic are still being sort of subdued by charlotte because each of the blood pillars have like roses is going around it so noelle is able to dodge noelle once again slicing vonica with her sword at every chances i see one two three four slices this fight is action packed as fuck i've never seen a black clover fight like this yuki tabara is fucking losing his mind boys oh my god this fight looks insane the fight continues vonica just Flushing out more blood, Noelle charges straight through with her sword, absolutely slashing through all of her blood attacks and uppercuts. She uppercut kicks Vonica straight into the fucking tower. Vonica crashes into the tower, her devil form 100% gone. Noelle points the sword at her head. Holy fucking shit! What? Oh my god. Oh my god, Noelle just fucking defeated Vonica at 100% with complete and utter ease. With ease, and I'm assuming this is where the 30 seconds lives. Noelle about to stab Vonica. Vonica starts talking. There's just blood and gushing out of Vonica everywhere. For the most part, I'm at this point, I'm wondering, where is Maggie Kula? There is no way Vonica's about to die like this, right? And yet it happens. It, Noelle is about to stab Vonica, and Vonica's eye just explodes. Noelle gets pushed back, and she looks at it, and it's Maggie Kula. It's female. It's a female lolly devil. I fucking told you, motherfuckers. She is female. Do not trust Viz's shitty garbage ass fucking translations. Maggie Kula is female. She is female. She is female. She's a female lolly devil. What the fuck? I've, I have yo, if you remember my predictions for the 10 devils or the 8 devils, whatever fucking many there are, I 
told you, I really fucking pray one of them is like this lolly devil and it's Maggie Cooler. Oh, yo, fucking hell. She looks fucking menacing. She's got four horns. Two on the back is the ones we've seen. Two on the front, which we've never seen. The eyes look fucking menacing. Her, her clothes look like peacock feathers. She's fully possessing Vonica and she kills Vonica. It looks like Vonica dies this chapter. Vonica is dead. Vonica is gone. There is no more Vonica in the story. Gasha is subduing Lolo Pichica and then Mekikola jumps into Lolo Pichica and she transforms. The wings, the horns. Lolo Pichica is now a devil host, fully controlled by Megacula. It looks like Megacula actually has three eyes, two normal eyes, one eye in the center, similar to, um, oh my god, she looks fucking scary, but oh god, she's a fucking lolly devil, dude, must not simp, must not simp for lolly devil, bro, she looks fucking menacing, she looks fucking menacing she looks like a menace she looks like a menace to society she looks like the motherfucker that will fuck you up she finally awakens in this chapter oh my god i can't believe i got my prediction right that is so fucking cool dude just to recap, just to see if there's anything new coming out. Basically, the fight starts where last week's chapter ends. Noelle and Vonica just going ham at it. Noelle just blowing up everything Vonica sends her way. It looks like Charlotte is still effective in this fight with roses wrapping around Vonica's blood magic. Noelle upper kick cuts Vonica straight into a tower. No Vonica crashes into the tower. Noelle is literally charging in. There does seem to be new panels and more Vonica and Noelle talk. It looks like Vonica tells her her reasons, though Noelle is just shocked. That, and Noelle probably says some shit like, I don't fucking care about you little shit. I'm gonna fucking end your life right here, right now. And the second she's about to kill Vonica, Maggie Kula finally awakens. Now, what's interesting here is this I don't think this is a gate. I don't think a gate of the underworld just opened. I don't think Maggie Kula's even in the underworld she has found a way to leave and she just fully reincarnated she fully just escaped it looks like she can't stay in the human world for long so she jumps straight into Lolo Pichica oh my god Lolo Pichica like I'm looking at the form now the bat wings the horns coming out of Lolo Pichica the bloody eye drops she looks menacing she looks fucking evil but she looks amazing <laughs> And for some reason, for some reason, it looks like Lola Pichica's giant ass titties just fucking evolved. What? She's some giant fucking badonka donks. But fuck that shit, dude. Maggie Kula finally awakens. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to like this video. Be sure to subscribe. Notification bell on. I do spoilers every single week. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.